Greetings everybody, Maximus here, and as always, thank you for stopping by the channel. So did you know that Boeing has an official motto? Well, they do. It is, start with engineering excellence, our customers deserve it. And as encouraging and adorable as that is, their unofficial motto is, if it weren't for bad Boeing news, there wouldn't be any Boeing news at all. And one new reason for that is now a federal lawsuit has been brought against Boeing, accusing them of intellectual property theft, conspiracy, and misuse of critical components involved in assembling NASA's Artemis moon rocket. I'll get to the details of the lawsuit in a minute, but first, Boeing Starliner spacecraft has been plagued with problems since its first launch in 2019. The capsule was originally supposed to operate alongside Elon Musk's SpaceX Crew Dragon, but so far only SpaceX spacecraft have taken astronauts to the International Space Station, while Boeing's Starliner remains grounded in the garage. There have been multiple issues with the Boeing Starliner since its first uncrewed test launch in 2019, when it experienced a series of software issues that ended up stranding the capsule in the wrong orbit, forcing it to return to Earth early without docking with the station. The Starliner astronaut launch, already years behind schedule, was most recently scheduled to launch two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station on July 21st. Now it likely won't launch this summer, and probably won't get off the ground this year at all. However, the most recent issues that have come up are potentially deadly issues. The new problem that caused NASA to scrub their first manned launch in July of 2023 is that Boeing engineers discovered that the soft links used on the suspension lines of Starliner's three main parachutes have a failure load limit that is actually lower than previously thought. It turns out that those links, which secure the parachute lines with their anchor tethers on the capsule, can't handle the load of the capsule if one chute fails. And being able to land safely with two of the three chutes is a safety requirement for NASA. The other potentially deadly discovery Boeing found pertains to the protective tape covering the wiring harnesses throughout the Starliner capsule. And what NASA and Boeing discovered is that that tape is flammable, and there are hundreds of feet of it inside the Starliner. And of course, that tape is not supposed to be flammable. And as if all that wasn't bad enough for Boeing, now comes the shocking revelation that much of the reason Boeing is having so much trouble getting the Starliner into space is that allegedly Boeing has been stealing trade secrets from another NASA-approved contractor. And Boeing has been making knockoff copies of that contractor's tools that don't meet specifications. According to a U.S. federal lawsuit filed in Seattle, Washington Federal Court on Wednesday, June 7th by Wilson Aerospace, it alleges that Boeing has engaged in fraud and a subsequent cover-up over many years in order to generate company profits. A claim that Boeing rejects and says is rife with inaccuracies and omissions. Wilson Aerospace says it was contracted by Boeing between 2014 and 2016 to provide a solution for safely attaching engines to the Space Launch System, or the SLS, the rocket that will be used by NASA to return humans to the moon. But according to the Colorado-based company, after providing designs for a unique torque wrench, Boeing terminated the contract and manufactured versions that were critically deficient in quality and performance. It added that the use of the mismatched tools was believed to have caused or contributed to dangerous leaks that delayed previous launches of the SLS rocket. In the past, Wilson and Boeing had collaborated over many years on several big space projects, including the International Space Station. Family-owned Wilson Aerospace has been manufacturing tools and components for NASA missions for almost three decades and has provided services for other major projects including the Hubble Space Telescope, a handful of space shuttle missions, Boeing's Dreamliner aircraft, the Russian Mir Space Station, and NASA's SLS rocket for the agency's Artemis program. Wilson invented a series of tools designed to tighten fittings to precise specifications that were approved by NASA in order to avoid unnecessary damage to the spacecraft and the potential for dangerous leaks of toxic or explosive fluids. The lawsuit alleges Boeing's theft of designs for tools used by astronauts to install equipment on the ISS, including part of the life support system and airlock. Wilson stated that frequent use of the FFTD-1 tool in a manner non-conforming with its original design 
led to trapped fittings with the nut becoming distorted and fixed in place. Claims that Boeing had changed the design of the tool to increase the torque, resulting in the over-tightening of fittings. However, the lawsuit claims that Boeing subsequently blamed the leaks on Wilson's tool design. David Wilson, president and founder of Wilson Aerospace, said, Boeing has not only stolen our intellectual property and damaged our company's reputation, but has used the technology incorrectly and at the expense of the astronaut's safety, which is beyond despicable. He said, I hope that this lawsuit will put a stop to Boeing's repeated practice of prioritizing its own profits over safety. Wilson Aerospace claims Boeing orchestrated a cover-up, expunging all records showing any relationship between the companies. Fuel leaks and valve issues have plagued NASA's Artemis program throughout 2022, which Wilson directly attributes to the intellectual property theft it accuses Boeing of engaging in. Wilson maintains that Boeing's theft of Wilson's intellectual property rights for tools intended to support the SLS project resulted in mismatching Wilson's design components with components designed by Boeing and its, quote, co-conspirators, which led to inferior products being used to tighten fittings and valves. Peter Flowers, partner in the law firm Myers & Flowers, which is representing Wilson Aerospace, said, Boeing's brazen theft is just an illustration of a large corporation leveraging its unchecked power to squash out a small family-owned and operated business. The Wilsons have a storied history in aviation, and Boeing once again has shown that they will act deceptively to take advantage of smaller suppliers like Wilson by stealing and infringing on sensitive intellectual property. Boeing's choices have endangered astronauts, all in the name of a larger bottom line. Wilson is seeking damages from Boeing for the use of its trade secrets. In a statement, a spokesperson for Boeing said, This lawsuit is rife with inaccuracies and omissions, and that we will vigorously defend against this in court. So how about that? Boeing accused of allegedly making knockoff parts and damaging the NASA moon project in the process. However, at this point, it's only alleged. And if Boeing didn't do it, they will have their day in court and a chance to prove it. But lately, between the Max, the Dreamliner, and now this, Boeing is spending what little profits they are making on lawyers instead of new aircraft, and that's not good. So what do you think? Let me know down below. Well, that's all I have for now. As always, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah. This is Maximus.